I only, I only remember the theme music if it's just us, Lana. I don't know why. <laughs> it's, it's, it's only, it's only in this scenario. I don't know. I don't get it, but whatever. All right. <sighs> oh, this lighting behind me is very bad. I'm sorry, y'all. The glare. It's, oh, it's not, it, it, it could be worse. Yeah, I'll turn back around. <laughs> Fair. You introduce yourself and sure. <laughs> I'll adjust myself to a better position. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh no, it's fine. Welcome to the cup, the currently unnamed podcast where we put the tea in reality. And you can always come to us first to quench your thirst. I'm Logan Murphy. I say something gay, gay, drinking just water because hydration is important. It is. And I'm Lana. Your resident diva, finally in place. Much better lighting. Um, here to give the tea. <laughs> Spill the tea. <sighs> Drink the tea. And just be a mess right now, because I'm a mess. I'm tired. We both are. We both are. <laughs> but it's okay. We're here. And I have nothing left to drink because I drank it all and did not feel like going to get anything. But I always have my cup. Because... You know, you want to be like the cool kids and get your cup mug. That's where you get it at lanacreations.etsy.com. And we'll get that cup right out to you. Link will be in the description below, wherever you are watching or listening to our beautiful podcast. If you're just listening, it's Lana G Creations at dot etsy.com. It will also be in the description there. Period. I throw it in the description everywhere. Period. Because full transparency, I copy my description from YouTube onto Spotify. <laughs> it makes things easier that way. But we are here. We are talking about Australian Survivor again, finally. <laughs> you know, it's it had been a minute. It had been just a cute little minute since we talked about Australian Survivor. So we're going to talk about it. Lana, you are muted. Yeah, it, it told me as I was talking and being muted. Good. But life be life and things be happening. You know, people, we don't always get to come around and somebody's has to look. Some shows get left behind for a week. It yeah. just happened to be Survivor Australia this time. Yeah, but we're but- back. We're here. We're diving into episodes 16, 17, and 18. Three pretty, pretty great episodes, if you ask me. Yeah, not mad. Uh, well, I'm not going to say not, I'm not mad. Not at episodes. certain things. I'm mad not at, at a few things. things. Mm-hmm. I'm just mad this week. Actually, no, I take that back. I'm mad. Mm-hmm. At several things and people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, well, let's talk about it. Let's do it. So we dive into episode 16. We are coming off of Flick's elimination, and we pretty much go immediately into the reward challenge. Mm-hmm. It's well, pretty it's immediate. A it's a big it's, one. It is stand on that pole for as long as you can. I've never seen it done in duos, though. Yeah, I've I never seen it done in duos like that. I am out of that, though. It wasn't that bad. It was, I, I, kind of interesting honestly so the prize i do love that jlp was like george what would you want to see from a reward and george goes i'm really craving chicken Mm -hmm. and jlp goes well funny you should say chicken (laughs) the reward this week is kfc (laughs) i'm like oh that wasn't scripted at all Oh no, completely on his own without being prompted by a producer. Obviously, George wanted chicken. He just wanted chicken. But actually, famously, George does love KFC. Like, I believe it was even brought up on Brains vs. Brawn. Yeah, I think he lost that one. And the last time he played, he lost. 
And he was really upset about not being able to have chicken. So that's yeah. why they asked him this time, what were you like? And he was like, chicken. And he's like, well, it's the KFC challenge. Woo! So, um, yeah, stand on the pole for as long as you can. Our teams are Simon and Nina, Sean and Sam, Haley and George, Jerry and Shawnee, and Liz and Matt. Now, who let all of these alliance people on the same on the same uh, polls? We don't know how these were chosen, but mm-hmm. um, it was random. I guess. I guess so. <laughs> um, a bit to my surprise, though, I'm I'm not horribly surprised. Simon ends up being the first person to drop out, and then shortly after, literally right after, Sean's like, "Oh, I'm also done." Yeah, that those things are not made for big feet, and those men have big feet. Yes. And, um. Yeah. yeah. So they go down immediately. Um. A good bit of the challenge happens, and then Liz and Matt do drop as well. And the final two teams are Haley and George, and Jerry and Shawnee. And minus one of those four competitors. These are not people that have been doing fairly well in challenges this season. <laughs> um, so I was like, good. I'm happy to see a little bit of change up in who's, you know, winning challenges and all of that. And to my delight and surprise, Lana, Haley and George they win, win the challenge. Yeah. I want to I want to say this is George's first non-tribal challenge win. Because I don't remember him winning an immunity on Brains versus Brawn. He might have. I just, I don't remember it. Well, he, um, I don't know. I know he said it was his first win, so. Yeah. I think so. But yeah, so they get to go to KFC. But it's not as fun without friends. Friends? Of course so, not. So, they get to pick two other people. And they pick uh, Shawnee and Jerry saying, oh, well, it only is fair if we pick the second place team. Completely not because, you know, they're also in our alliance. Not exactly. at all. Not at all. But, no. Not even not even close. So, they go and they enjoy their reward and they're talking about their their stuff and all of that. It's, it's more vigilante challenge, vigilante strategy, whatever, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. So, while they are gone, Sean decides this is going to be a good time to try to get Simon on board with the minority. <clears throat> and he's like, so we're all going to vote out George. Because guess what, everyone? I have an idol. And I've been holding on to this idol for 22 days. Is this a record? I think it might be a record for the longest amount of time someone's held on to an idol. I'm just like, sir, please stop. Because you, sir, I don't, don't think, I don't think it's a record, and I don't even, yeah. I haven't even watched Survivor Eight uh, Australia like that. I definitely don't think it was a uh, a record. I don't. I really, I really, really don't. Um, so I did check because I was curious. Mm-hmm. Um, so. Technically, George has won an individual immunity. Okay. I forgot that in Brains versus Brawn, they had one challenge where five people won individual immunity. Don't ask me why. Uh, but George was one of those five. Okay. So, whatever. Um, and Simon is on board with this plan. <laughs> he's like well I don't like George I've been fighting George all season so I'm gonna jump onto this plan but I'm gonna fake like uh, I'm still a part of the majority we're gonna blindside them we're gonna blindside George finally we're gonna vote out George how many people have said that over two seasons of Australian Survivor It's just very frustrating to me. 
because everybody talks a big, huge game and they're rah, rah, rah. And then when it comes down to doing stuff, they're like, eh. Oh, we'll talk about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, we will talk about it. Mm -hmm. Um, But not before we get a little bit of insight on what George is thinking. We get a little, uh, George is like, obviously I have the Spice Girls and that's lovely. And I have the Vigilante Alliance and this is lovely. But I think I want to go to the end with Haley. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I would love that redemption of going to the final two again with Haley and, and beating, beating Haley. Sure. Sure. I get sure. that. On the flip side of that, Lana, we hear Haley kind of in an interesting position where she's like, I don't see a clear path for me mm-hmm. to the end of this game. And I thought that was a really like vulnerable moment from Haley, just being like, I don't really know where, like, I don't know where or who my end game is with and i mm-hmm. need to really start like considering that because we're getting to that point in the game right um and she knows again as a winner this is uncharted when... territory for winners on australian survivor so no right. one's really made it this far as a winner right who knows if people are going to want to take her to final tribal or not right and even if they do who does she know if somebody's going to even want to give her another you know, yeah. win. So, I think if it was me, I would maybe be inclined to take Haley. Yeah, it's like she already won. She played from thought... the middle or the bottom this entire game thus far, at least. Right. I don't know what the what the rest of the what the rest of the season entails, but like, if I'm sitting next to Haley, it's like she played from the bottom or the middle the entire game, and isn't that exactly what she did on her winning season? So why would we reward her twice for the same behavior? Right. That's called insanity. Exactly. So. Makes sense. Yeah. So we go to the immunity challenge. It's the good old classic, hold on to a rope and stack some blocks that spell out some words. Yeah. A challenge I enjoy. Yeah. Because I like seeing everyone's reactions when they drop all of the, all of their... Uh, Blocks when they get so many on and right. My favorite was when Liz was like, Shawnee, Shawnee, look at how good I'm doing. Drops. Like, oh. I I love me some Liz. Liz is just the entertainment, the drama, the intrigue. I love Liz. But (laughs) um it comes down to Haley and Simon. Simon and Sean. Was it Simon? Haley was up there, but yeah, Sean. Yeah. Oh, it was Sean. You are correct. But Simon pulls out the win for his first official Mm -hmm. individual immunity win. So, props to Simon. Good for Simon. We'll we'll celebrate Simon because Ashley's not here to celebrate Simon. So, good for you, Simon. Good for Simon. Sure. Yeah. Sure. And so we go back. We go back to camp. And the vigilantes get together. And they decide, well, they don't decide. George decides for the group. Yeah. That they're going to target Nina. And they're going to split a vote uh, 4-3 between Nina and Sean. And Simon, a bit too eagerly, goes, well, then I'll vote Nina. And George immediately is like, yeah, Simon's not with us anymore. Right. And I will say, in all of the in all of the bombastic nature of George's gameplay and the flamboyance of his gameplay, I love seeing these moments because you really get to see just just how good of a player George yes. is. Like reading that situation immediately and going, no, he's not with us. So we need to shift the entire plan. Exactly. I, 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 like I said before, I'm not a huge uh, George fan as far as, you know, his antics or whatever, but George is such a good player and he's proving that he is not the definition of insanity because, like you said, Haley is doing the same thing she did before got to the end and won. 
George has apparently has completely changed and fixed the mistakes he made in his previous season. And now it's showing very much how he strategic, how strategic he is, how much he can read the room and pick up his reads are good most of the time. Like yeah. it's like, okay. Yeah. I can see, you know, why he's um he's just he's just showing why he's just so good at this game. And people should should want him out of this game because out of everybody in this entire game, this has been the George show. Yeah. This has been the George show. This is the George season. And yeah. every move that's been made, he's been a part of. Yeah. And and I'm like, if y'all are not seeing this by now, I don't know what game you playing and what game yeah. you you know what's happening and why we are not more aggressively trying to go after him. Well, I think but, people are I think people are aggressively planning they're planning. to go after him. And this is it's the exact same problem as what happened on Brains versus Brawn. There were several, and by several I mean probably every other tribal at minimum, people were like, let's target George. We're targeting George. George is gonna go out and we're gonna vote out George finally. George is gone. And it never happened, and he made final two and almost won the game. And I think the I think the big things because his reads on Brain versus Brawn were very good. But I think what he's improved upon specifically is his ability to be likable. I think that's the biggest thing that George has worked on, is his ability to make people like him while still doing all of the strategic things that he did prior. Are you back, Lana? Mm. Lana. Oh, no. I'm here, but I'm moving. Okay. I'm just going to have Rhea edit all this out, so don't worry. Okay. But keep it going. Okay. Okay. Um, Okay. Okay. What I was saying is that George's gameplay, like his gameplay is very, very similar to what it was on Brain vs. Brawn. The thing is, he's learned how to be a little bit more likable. And that's why he didn't win over Haley is that Haley made all these moves but was still likable, and George just played the straight-out villain, where I can see in this game he's done a little bit more to, you know, get to, like, he, he's played a much better social game than mm-hmm. he did uh, on Brains vs. Brawn. So that's... Uh-huh. I, I, I like seeing the improvement in George's gameplay. But, um... So, George rounds up every one of the vigilantes except for Simon and says, no, we're voting Sam. We're not going to tell Simon, but we're voting out his best friend, Sam. And everyone's like, cool, yeah, great, wonderful, love it. And Haley's not having any of this. <laughs> Haley said, you know, this might be my chance to take out George. Famous last words. Famous but, last words. So she goes to Nina. Mm-hmm. And she goes, so... You're going to be fine tonight. Um, if And so Nina's like, okay, cool. Should the other guys be worried? And Haley's like, well, does anyone have an idol? And Nina's like, well, I don't know. She knows. But mm-hmm. I don't know. 
And Haley goes, well, if one of them had an idol, play it for Sam. And Nina goes, okay, well, if we play this idol correctly, what do you think the likelihood is of George going home? And without missing a beat, Haley goes very high. Uh Mm -hmm. And so Nina believes the plan to an Mm -hmm. extent. Nina believes this information. So she brings it back to Sam and Sean. And they are not believing a word that comes out of Haley Leak's mouth. And I just... Frustration. I I just... I can't. I was like, wait. (sighs) Sam. Nina immediately tells Sam, he's like, I don't believe that. I don't trust her. I'm like, what? Like, I mean, I get it. She hadn't spoken to the Sean's. Like, she hadn't spoken to me in four days. Yada, yada, yada. I don't think so. But I'm like, she is literally, even if, I, I mean, okay, so I can get it. I get it and I understand the back and forth is like, do we trust that she's actually telling us or she's with them? We know she's with them. Um, is she trying to throw us off and play the idol wrong and yada, yada, just to flush it? I get all of that. But I'm like, also, Haley has been, she played with y'all the very first half of this game. And when people start to adjust, in their game, like she had to make moves in order to keep her longer. And so why can't y'all adjust? Like, I, I don't get it. I don't, uh, I just can't, I can't. Wow. But in the, in, in the interim, uh-huh. Nina, Dia, Nina, Nina finds an idol. The idol, the idol that Flick's hand was literally almost on and just not seeing it. Uh-huh. The same idol that Sam looked right there and was standing right there with Sean and they overlooked it. And Nina walked right over to it and found it. <sighs> so and she was so excited and I love that for her. She was like, I've never seen one in the wild and I just found it. I just I'm so found proud. it. I'm very happy that she found it. Yeah. Because I feel like she needed to find something and just to say, yeah. but in that moment, Sam needed to find that. Yeah. But whatever. Yep. So let's go to tribal Lana. Yeah, let's go. So the big the big talk about this tribal is if you haven't made a move yet, it might be too late for you to make a move. Yeah. Because what you waiting on playing this late in the game and you decide to finally play, so it might be a little late. And, you know, there was a move that was tried that tried to be made. Mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. we go to vote, and votes happen, and JLP asks for idols, and Nina stands up. And I'm like, great, Nina. Nina's standing up. Nina's going to play it for Sam. Great, cool. I played my idol for myself. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I get it. Your first idol, you want to play it to protect yourself. I get it. I understand. And then Sean stands up. And I'm like, oh, good. Sean's going to play the idol for Sam. And the plan's going to go off. And everything's going to be fine. And then Sean, Sam is literally like, play it for me. Play it for me. Because Haley looks over at them and is like. And Sean looks at Sam and says, I'll buy a case of beer if I'm wrong. I would have got up and took my torch and slapped him across the head with it. I don't want your freaking case of beer. I wanted you to play it for me like you said you would. You literally said you were going to do it. So. 
Ha. Ha. I forget uh, how much. What? How much is the prize in uh in Australia? Is five or five hundred thousand? Is it so? Not yeah. Mm-hmm. And you want to buy me a case of beer? No, no, no. You owe me five hundred thousand dollars. Because Sean plays the idol for himself. Himself. The votes come down. There's four votes on George. You want to know who the other two, uh, the other six votes go to, Lana? Um, Sam. Like me, like Haley told them. I mean, what else do you want? She can't just flat out be like, "Hey." <laughs> Remember what I told you. But she told you and you didn't believe her. Then you finally see that she is like, are you serious? Looking at you at the uh, on the at the tribal council. And you like, Sean, play it for me. And he like, "Mm, nah. Mm. What? (laughs) I'm so random. (laughs) No. Oh. So Sam goes home. The mate ship has sailed. Yep. Um, I blame Sean. I blame Sean and Sam. <laughs> yeah. But that's that. Sam is the second member of our jury. And we move to episode 17. Where mm-hmm. we start with a lovely segment on Shawnee and Liz. Shiz, if you will. Shiz. Um, and they're talking game. And they, uh, Shawnee says a couple of really interesting things here that end up being a really big amount of foreshadowing, which is wild. So she's like, you know, Liz, we need to focus on the jury's perception of George. Because, like, we don't need people thinking that George made all the moves and that we wrote his coattails because that's what two women did with George on Brains versus Ron. It's the exact mm-hmm. same situation. That mm-hmm. George has put himself in, which it works for George. It got him runner up. So whatever. Um, they also discuss how like people that they potentially want to take to the end of the game. And they think Jerry is a great option. You know, they could both beat Jerry in a final final immunity challenge scenario. Mm-hmm. And they say they also want to take Simon. Because Simon doesn't really have any allies. We could pull him in as a number. And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's fine and dandy and lovely and wonderful. Mm-hmm. And then Shawnee finds an idol. And I love it. I'm like, mm-hmm. yes, Shawnee. Yes, Queen. Get your idol. And then we shift to more a broader vigilantes discussion um, about who the next target is going to be. George is hellbent on taking out Simon because Simon betrayed the vigilantes at the last vote. He was the fourth vote to vote him out. He wants George, He wants Simon out by mm-hmm. Simon. And, you know, Shiz, Shiz are not really thinking the same way. They're thinking, right. you know, we need to, we should keep Simon around because Simon is good for our game. Simon may not be good for George's game, but Simon's good for our game. Mm-hmm. And so, like, we just need to get rid of the last two outside of the original Majority Seven. Just get rid of Sean and Nina. Cool. Great. George is mad <laughs> because he's like, no, because these two are doing their own thing without me. Why are they doing their own thing without me? I'm the kingpin. And I'm just like, okay, George, well. <sighs> okay, people girl. Can play, people can play a game without you, George. That's it possible. Is, 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 is Haley, possible? <laughs> Haley did it two seasons ago and she won. So, I mean, uh, George, he's very, his ego is, is sometimes just so much. Just his so ego much. and his paranoia. Yeah. Those are the two big things this season yep. compared to his last season. But uh, we don't have to worry about that for the current moment because we go to immunity. Yeah. And it's a three part immunity challenge. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Um, so in the first round, you have to take these like hacky sacks and throw them onto a suspended plate and three people get eliminated. And then you have to use those hacky sacks, knock down some rungs, uh, and then make a, a horizontal ladder and cross a bridge and three more people get eliminated. And then the final round is you have to stack 
some plates of different sizes on top of each other while you are connected to a rotating uh, base. Mm -hmm. So um, we see Nina, George, and Shawnee get eliminated in round one. And we see Jerry, Liz, and Matt get eliminated in the second round. And the final round comes down to Simon, Sean, and Hayden. Which nobody's really surprised by. I'm not surprised. I don't think you're surprised. No. No. It's a close, close little battle there, but Simon pulls out another win. Amen. We're going to celebrate Simon because Ashley's not here to do it. Very happy for Simon. Very happy for Simon. Because he needed it. This was the week where he he needed it. He definitely needed it this week because... Yeah. Yeah. So George can't be mad because he wasn't going to go home no way. So we go back to Tribal. Or no, we go back to Camp. Yeah. Sorry, we don't mm-hmm. go to Tribal. Uh, and the, uh, the original plan is that we're going to do a split on Sean and Nina. We're going to target Sean. We're going to get Sean out. Mm-hmm. And George does go to Simon with a deal where Simon's basically like, I'll do whatever you want as long as I'm like the like the first person like basically just like buying in time to final seven right basically and george is like sure you can do that just vote for sean and simon starts to be like but nina blah 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 and george is like (laughs) non-negotiable and i kind of love that moment where he's just like non-negotiable i'm like okay george lord jesus george okay so that's the original plan But, you know, George is a little paranoid. Yeah, yeah. George is a little paranoid over Shawnee and Liz. Specifically Mm -hmm. Shiz. Mm -hmm. And he goes, you know, maybe I should take out Shawnee. And I'm like, you're going to what? What? I'm sorry, you're going to what? Who? Hmm? Who exactly? You said, said, did you, did you, Sean? Shawnee? No, you meant Sean, Sean right? Sean, yeah, N- Sean. Sean. No, Shawnee. 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 The person who's been loyal to you since day one, Shawnee. Shawnee. Okay. Vice girl, Shawnee. Right. Okay. Mm. I don't get this. And even Jerry, he goes to Jerry and he's like, should we take out Shawnee? And Jerry's like, no, it's too early. And I agree with Jerry. Right. <laughs> I'm like, Jerry is talking some logic here. And you're speaking nonsense. I, but George can't even bother to listen to his own ally, Jerry. No. Because he goes to Haley (laughs) and he goes to Matt and he's like, we should flip this vote on Shawnee. And they're Mm -hmm. like, okay. Sure. Shawnee's a threat. Like we all acknowledge Mm -hmm. Shawnee's a threat. So, sure. Why not? And they kind of need one more vote in order to make things happen. And so they go to our good sis, Nina Diaz, Twine. And Nina says, the majority coming to talk to me. Me? What? And Nina, you know, Nina does what is smart. I would have done exactly this in Nina's situation. Um... Because A, the majority is coming to talk to her to bring her into a potential vote. B, Shawnee and Nina really have not had any, like, game interactions at all. None whatsoever. So, sure. Sure. Yeah. Um, So we go to tribal. And the the topic of this tribal is, uh, now is the time to make a move. In the words of Nina Diaz Twine. Now is the time to use the people on the bottom, make some moves, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. And they kind of do mm-hmm. because we see we see three votes come out for Sean or no for Nina. Three votes for Nina. And we see one vote come out for Sean from Simon. <laughs> so Simon fulfills his part of the deal. We'll he talk did. about that deal in the next one. And then it's Shawnee. 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 And I'm like, no. Like, at this point, I'm just like, no. 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 
Não! É... É... <risos> Now, <laughs> and I knew George would be the reason she got out. I just didn't think it would be this early. Yeah, I was not. I was very shocked it was this early. I thought she was going to at least get to the five, six, five before he. I just thought Nina and Sean would go out first, and Simon would go out before Shawnee. I honest, I thought it was. I thought Sean and Simon would have gone out, and then maybe they would have taken out Shawnee at eight. Uh, or what? What would that have been? Seven. Yeah, it would have been seven. Yeah. But no, they they take Are her out now. Me? I will say this is actually her worst performing season. Mm. She, I believe, was fourth and then seventh in her past two appearances. So. <sighs> Unfortunately, Shawnee is gone. Same. I was, I'm so happy that I got to see her play again. Probably the last time. Yeah. But I'm thrilled that I got to see her play again. She is, I'm going to definitively say, my favorite Australian Survivor player. Nina's up there. Haley's up there. A couple other people from past seasons are up there. But Shawnee is, Shawnee's my absolute favorite. So... It was sad to see her go, obviously. Liz is gagged. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure Liz is through. Well, we saw, because we go to episode 18, and we start out, and Liz is gagged. And what I did love about this moment from Liz, yeah. um, what I did love in this moment from Liz is that Liz fully goes, I get the move. I understand why I... I I get why she had to go. She was a threat. Oh, for sure. But it still, it still messes me up a little bit. She fully has a full, like, she goes away from camp. She has a full, like, emotional breakdown moment. Mm. I felt for her. I really did. I love Liz. I, yeah. I felt really, really bad that she was like, it, it's just really, really, really upsetting the next morning. Yeah, I mean, it the way she was blindsided, and it's like, this is my best friend in this game, and now this person What do is, I do? What do I do now? I, not, not that she hasn't been on her own before, and that's the thing I think is, is, yeah. is helping Liz and is going to continue to help Liz throughout this game. She yeah. was without Shawnee for a while, so she knows how to navigate her way without Shawnee, but yeah. it's so much easier for her with Shawnee. And so now that Shawnee is gone, she's now have to go back to feeling like, am I at the bottom? Are they coming after me next? What yeah. what is what is what? So yeah, I feel feel for Liz, but I you know. Yeah. Most definitely. So then we see we see Simon. Simon goes to George. And he's like, well, I upheld my end of the deal. I'm back in the majority. Everything is great. I'm feeling so confident. I'm going to offer George a final chew. <laughs> and the whole time, George <sighs> is just like, well, I changed my target. Like, in confessional, he's like, well, I changed my target. So that deal was off a while ago. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry. Mm. I don't know what to tell you, but, uh, so, no, I'm not going to be taking this deal. In fact, I'm going to target Simon again. That seems fun and cute and different. Mm -hmm. So we go, we go to the reward, good old reward challenge. Uh, and it, it's a survivor classic that we hadn't, I haven't seen it in a second. It's the stacking blocks with your feet. <laughs> A classic challenge. Um, but Simon comes out on top and mm -hmm. wins a whole damn brand new car. And it's Zuzu, a car reward. Uh, it's Zuzu D Max. And it's Zuzu D Max. Good for Simon. Good for him. Good for Simon. Great job, Simon. Wonderful job, Simon. 
So he gets to go on a picnic with people and he takes Haley and he takes Matt and he takes Nina. And this is where a couple episodes ago, I think we forgot to mention, I think it was one of these two episodes that we forgot to mention. Uh, George's trying to build trust with Haley. So he tells Haley about his $60,000 win from that Mm -hmm. one reward challenge. And Haley says, well, yeah, on this reward, in this picnic with this Izuzu, she goes, well, you know George won $60,000 of this reward, right? (laughs) And everyone's like, what? What? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, (laughs) what? George. Uh, George, uh you said? George? Okay, writing that down. Okay, great. Good information. Thank you. And I did love this from Haley. I was like, yes, you turn on him. You take out George. It didn't work again, and we'll see if it works in the future. But you do that. You make that move. Great. Love it. Wonderful. Yes. Um, (laughs) But um, yeah. We do that. They go back. Nothing much happens. We go to immunity. And now this is a this is an interesting one because it looks like the top part of like an electric chair. Yeah. Where you're like strapped in with your arms and your your hands in a thing. And it's like a glorified wall sit where you have to like sit in this thing. And then if you move too much, then it drops a little idle, you're out of the challenge. So uh to nobody's surprise whatsoever. Uh, This comes down to Sean and Nina, because they're really the ones that kind of need to win this immunity. Uh, They are the two at the bottom, presumably, Mm -hmm. plus Simon. Um, And so they really need to win. It comes down to the two of them. There's talk during the challenge. George goes, well, if, if Nina won, wouldn't she be the first of her family to win? And Nina looks over and is just like, Shut up, George. <laughs> it's like that, it's that stare of like, shut up, George. Um, but for the first time in survivor history, a Diaz Twine wins an individual immunity. Nina, she did it. She did it. Oh, I'm so proud. I truly just so happy that she she won. She finally did it. And she has immunity on a night where she probably needs it. Mm-hmm. So we go back. We're at camp. And the majority decides we're going to do, so we can't vote for Nina. So we're going to do a split vote on to Sean and Simon. Because Simon doesn't have that necklace today. No, he doesn't. So let's split this vote and let's take out Simon. So that's happening. Cool. Mm -hmm. But Haley, Haley's not too, not too happy about this. Right. Right. Cause she likes Simon. Her Mm -hmm. and Simon have been working very closely together since the start. Mm -hmm. She wants to keep, keep Simon. So she's like, yeah, I'll vote Simon. Yeah, sure. Totally. And in this, she, I think in a confessional even, she was like, I'm going to keep my ally here and I'm going to make George look like a fool in front of the jury. And that's my plan. If I can't take out George this evening, because that's not where the numbers are, I'm going to do the next best thing and make him look like a fool. And I loved it. The amount of Haley against George, I love. I love it. Big fan. <laughs> Big fan. I'm a fan Not of it. it. Not mad at it. I think it was the I I'm I, mean, I enjoyed Haley more and more in these last two episodes. Good, I'm glad. <laughs> um because you were not you were not feeling her necessarily at the start of the season. At the start of the season, I just didn't know she just wasn't giving me anything. Sure. And I think that's her game plan is to be very low key under in the middle. Yeah. Just, you know, and, and, and I get that she was the winner. So she, she had to be take yeah. the target off of her. So she just wasn't giving me anything that I was like, 
willing to root for yet. But I didn't dislike her. I just wasn't yeah. feeling her. Sure. Valid and understandable. So, <laughs> all the while, Simon is paranoid. Oof. He's like, I don't, I don't have an idol. I need to do something. I need to do something. So, he tries to rally a vote against Matt. Matt. And I'm just like, why? <laughs> Because if you can't get George, I just, I guess, get Matt. <laughs> All right, Diva, work. Like, like, okay, girl. Work. Great. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Try whatever you got to do, I guess. I guess. So we go to Tribal. The majority is the majority. The, t- the two boys on the bottom know that they're on the bottom. And the vote is supposed to come down with Simon going home. Mm -hmm. And the votes are read out. And obviously Simon still goes through with his uh, haphazard plan of trying to get Matt out. It doesn't work. He's the only person to vote for Matt. And the votes come down and it's 3-3 between Sean and Simon. And everyone's like, okay, great. Simon's gone. It's going to be Simon. Simon's going to get eliminated. Great. We finally got rid of... Oh, Sean? Mm? Sean. 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 I thought it was supposed to be Simon. Simon? They are was... both tall white men. Right. So... Right. But, but Sean? No. Sean? But Haley flips her vote. And George blamed Nina. Of course he blames me. Of course he does. I'm like, why do you instinctively go, <sighs> Nina? Why would Nina want to keep vote Simon. Sean? Right. Why would Nina want to keep Simon when Sean has been her ally from the get go? To to get back at George? I mean, that's exactly what Haley did. So valid, but why would Nina mm-hmm. want Sean, uh, Simon? Hmm. Hmm. Who Confusion. would want to get back to, who would want to not, who would want to keep Simon? Nina, I guess. Apparently from George. Apparently. Apparently. Apparently so. But, so we lose, who did we lose this week? We lost Sam. We lost Shawnee Sam. and we lost Sean. Sean. There's so many S names. All the S names, get out of here. There are, except for we, Simon. Except Simon. And yeah. Okay, he's probably not long for this survivor world. So <sighs> we're finally caught up. We did it. Yeah. And uh, we'll be back very, very shortly for uh, we're going to be doing week seven and eight together. There are only two episodes in each. Because mm-hmm. uh, uh, breaking the fourth wall at the time of filming, finale week is literally like a few days away. So we're going to catch up and we're going to be here to do that with you. So subscribe, like, share. I just realized this whole episode, we no didn't have the, uh, the ticker banner was not up at all. I forgot to do it. But you know what? Life okay. happens sometimes. It's okay. You can put it up right now. Just follow. I, you know what? Oh, I don't have. Mm, I don't have it. Wait. <laughs> Hold on, I got it. Hold I on, I got it. it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. it was in the wrong folder. So, <laughs> it was in the right folder. I just forgot it was there. So make sure to follow us on Twitter. Follow both of us individually on Twitter. Subscribe to this channel for all of your reality. Uh, go get some merch. Mm-hmm. We do that. We yeah. might be having other ways to support us here coming soon. Ooh, I haven't even told Lana about this yet, but things might be happening. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, <laughs> if you want to support us, it means the world. Go buy the merch, follow us, subscribe. We are trying to get to a thousand by the end of the year. I'm saying that now. It's going to happen. We're doing it. So, Uh, With that being said, cheers, Lana. Cheers, love.
Woo. Woo. Bye. Me with a cup. I didn't even use this episode. It's fine. Use with a cup. I don't <laughs> even have my cup. I left it in the other room. Great. Goodbye now. Bye. Bye, Bye now. Bye.